Hey Planny Fam, welcome back to my channel. And today is gonna be an August plan with me, but we gotta talk shop a little bit because we are one month into my July reset and I'm already changing things up. If you wanna see this plan with me and hear all the details about what's going on, keep watching, cause that's coming up right now. Okay, Planny Fam, so let's talk about what's going on right now. I am currently in this big happy planner. Um, this originally was a coil bound, big vertical lined happy planner. I will link my planner lineup video for you guys down below, the one that's for July. So you can see what this planner originally, originally looked like, but the coil bound was bugging me. So I ended up decoiling it and punching it and putting it onto discs. And then I just did a makeshift cover with this clear um, cover from Live Love Posh. And then I photocopied the image from the original cover onto a piece of paper. And that is now what you see here in front of you. So this is still the same planner. I just rebound it basically. Um, as you can see here, the original punches and then I went in and punched them with the disc. So this is my current planner and it is a big vertical lined. This is the monthly and then this is what the vertical, like the daily looks, like the weekly looks like. I can't talk today. Blah. <laughs> this is what the weekly setup looks like. So you have plain boxes up top and then you have lines all the way down. Now the original reason why I purchased this planner is because I had wanting I had been wanting a big vertical line for a really long time and they finally came out with one in the spring release. Well, they came out with a couple, but this was the one that like aesthetically I liked the best. So this is what I purchased and I really love putting like my plans, like my main plans up at the top. It's a great way to segregate and then it still allows me to add like my schedule and my to-do list down at the bottom. But here's the problem. It is huge. I am missing my classic sized planner. Like you don't even understand you guys. I just, I've been away from the big for so long that it's huge and it takes up so much space. Am I making it work? Like, yes, obviously you can see like I'm filling everything out. It's functionally working okay for me, but it's not making me want to plan. And that's the problem. And I am just missing the classic sized. So that's problem number one. The other problem that I'm having is I feel like it's getting a little monotonous again. So when I was using the dashboard layout, it wasn't monotonous. I was finding I was actually needing an extra planner. Um, and that was originally why I had invested in this one as well. But now I'm finding I don't know if I really like it. Like don't get me wrong it's cute it's got deco on it like this was from the first week of july this was last week um so it's really cute like it has deco on it but it's not aesthetically pleasing to me like i want to see stickers kind of everywhere um just to give you an example so like this is a dashboard spread i'll show you a more recent one um this was one from my birthday week so like you can see like it's almost like a balance of stickers to white space where this i don't know like it is like it's not unbalanced but for me i just it feels empty still and i have always been a deco planner and i just i don't know if it has to do with the size or if it has to do with the layout or maybe it's like a combination of both i also am not loving the schedule that I'm doing. So like right now, as you can see, I'm doing schedules and then I'm putting in the times that I want and then what I'm doing during those times and then my work and to do's. I don't mind the work and to do parts like that part's great. And I'm really, and I'm okay with like the dinner being at the bottom. That hasn't been the biggest issue. It's the schedule portion for me. I've been really trying to find a way to like divide my time up better, but I don't know if this is necessarily functionally working for me. 
And in the past, when I've used a classic regular vertical planner without the lines, I planned by like time of day. So like the top box would be the morning, the middle box would be the afternoon, and then the bottom box would be the evening. That is where you saw the three planners come in. So that is where this new one comes in. This is just a plain vertical layout from the Happy Planner. And this is the new one that I bought as like a backup. And I'm really wanting to go into this. I don't necessarily know if I love the vertical though. And that brings me to kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. So I've decided I'm going to leave this planner. Um, it's only been a month in. Um, this is the current spread for this week. Um, as you can see, like I'm already skipping days, you guys. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, and then this is for next week. So I am going to finish out the month in this planner. However, I think for August, I am going to move into my new backup planner for the rest of the year. I just, I love the size of this. This is, it's, don't get me wrong, it's great, but I hate the monthly layouts in the bigs. It's just so big. And um, the size, like size wise, like just planning, I'm, I have small arms. <laughs> so... <laughs> like trying to like get up at the top. I'm having to turn the, the book more often or the pages more often. It's just a lot. So as much as I really wanted to have a big vertical line, I just don't think aesthetically and like pe pleasing for me, it's going to satisfy me and work and encourage me to keep using the planner going forward. And I don't want to get so far into it that I slack off. I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about that because we are going to be doing an August monthly in the new planner. So we are gonna get this out of the way. You can see it takes up so much space, it's huge. And we're gonna bring this one in. So the reason that I have a couple of other planners off to the side is because I wanted to reference this one for you guys. This is the one that I was using for the first half of 2024. Um, and I am going to keep this on hand because this is my plan for the first week of August. So we're going to plan the August monthly in this planner. And then I'm going to do my first spread for August as a vertical using my old setup, doing the mornings, afternoons, and evenings. But... I'm bringing in my passion planner just to show you guys. So I've changed the way that I'm using this, but in the beginning of 2024, I was using it as a task planner or a to-do planner. Um, and you can see like I have it set up kind of like how the big was. And I was going like morning, afternoon, night. And I was just writing random things. And then I was using my marker to notate larger events. Now I'll probably incorporate more boxes into the happy planner spread but this is kind of what I'm going for so I'm almost like combining my old style of planning with a vertical layout with the style that I'm planning now with the big vertical and this and kind of like trying to mesh the two somehow I am like learning as I'm figuring this out as I go you guys so I haven't fully figured out <laughs> how this is going to come together but these are just some examples of what I was doing at the beginning of the year in this planner. And like you can see, I started implementing in like the work areas. Um, this one, like I outlined some of the writing, which was really cute. So this kind of gives you an idea of what I'm thinking, but incorporating more, more boxes into this. If I don't like it, because I'm not sure if I'm going to, because I was hesitant about going back to a vertical planner. I just kind of, I feel like a little part of me has outgrown this type of planning a little bit. Um, as I get older, my needs are different, my lifestyle's changing. Um, so yeah, that's why I've been a little unsure about doing this, but I am going to try it for the first week of August. If I don't like it, I am then going to merge the rest of this dashboard planner that I created. So like these, these layouts, right? With this planner. Now this is only good until the end of December for this year. 
Um, this planner is an 18 month planner, so it goes all the way to December of 2025. So I will probably have to, if that's what I end up doing, I will have to invest in another new dashboard, but that's okay. It's funny y'all, I wasn't sure like if I was just in a comfort rut with this planner, cause I'd gotten kind of just in the zone. I will change up my left side. So like if I end up going back to the dashboard, I am gonna change how I use this side completely. I've been researching that <laughs> on YouTube and getting some new ideas. So I won't be using the left side like I was like I was previously. It just wasn't working out right. But a part of me second guessed myself a little bit thinking, oh, I'm just like, I've just got comfortable with it. Honestly, now that I'm not in it, I'm missing knowing how I'm planning, where things are going to go, what I'm like, I'm kind of missing it. So maybe it was right for me after all and I just overthought the whole thing so we're gonna try this out first see how it goes um maybe I will do a plan with me for you guys for this just to just to like showcase you just to showcase it so you guys can see like my thought process as I'm going through it we can kind of go through the process together a little bit and I can share with you how I'm feeling about it that kind of thing but either way, regardless, this monthly is staying. So we are going to clear the rest of this out of the way now that I've kind of showed you every guys, now that I've shown you guys everything that I needed to show you. And we're gonna start planning for August in my new planner. I love this planner. I did show this planner off in my haul video. I'll link that video for you guys too, the spring haul video that I did, so you guys can see me opening and going through this. Um, this planner is really, really fun. It's got a lot of positive affirmations. It reminds me of Taylor Swift lover vibes a little bit. So yeah, that's the other thing. Like I really do like the aesthetic of this, of this planner. So, so yeah. All right. I've done enough blabbing. Let's get into the plan with me. All right, you guys, hopefully you can see everything that you're looking at. Um, I pulled my stickers and we're going to be using stickers from this live, love posh, um, sticker book. It's the book babe sticker book. I have been trying to read more this summer and it's actually been really, really nice. I wish I was reading a little bit more, honestly. So I think I'm going to set a goal for myself for August to read a little bit more than I have been, but I've already been reading more than I normally do, which has been great. So I decided to go with one of these bookish spreads to like inspire me to read a little bit more for the rest of this summer. And they have this really, really cute one, which is like super summery with palm leaves and fruits and just like beachy summery vibes. So we're going to be using that layout. And then I also pulled some really old sticker books from the Happy Planner. Um, this is when they did a, a collaboration with Wrong Wrong. And these are from the travel, the travel one. It's called Going Places. And there's lots of girls in these sticker in these two sticker books and a lot of them match this this colorway these stickers here and I've been really wanting to put girls onto a spread lately so we're gonna try and incorporate it onto the monthly which is gonna be kind of tough because August is super busy I am gonna be referencing my current humongo planner this is all of the sticky notes for August and everything we have planned so I am gonna need that. So I will be referencing that off to the side. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I always go in with my washi tape first. And for this spread, I picked this colorway. It's like a really like pretty light pink with different shades of green palm leaves on it and just some specks of gold. I am gonna go in and put the washi down up top. And then these are the two marker colors that I selected. I thought they'd be really, really cute with the stickers and with the washi tape. So that's what we're going with. Okay, so like I'm putting down this washi tape and it already feels so much nicer <laughs> than being in the big because I don't have to reach to astro astronomical lengths to reach. <laughs> and I'm not having to like turn the book as much as I normally have to. So, so far, so good. I would love to know what you guys have done for your summer so far, how it's going, comment below, let me know. Actually, we're gonna have to pull these pages out. I got, I was gonna see what I mean, you guys. I got used to the coil and I'm like, hold on. We can just pull them out now. <laughs> okay, much better. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys have been up to, 
how your summers are going. Let's go this way first. My summer has been pretty good. Um, we've been getting a lot of stuff done, like checked off of my summer bucket list, which has been great. I might actually do a summer bucket list review in the end of August before I leave for my trip. Um, that could be really, really fun to do just to go over like everything we did with you guys and see what we got done, what we didn't get done. That might be a really fun video to share with you all. So I might do that. Okay, so cute. I love that washi tape. Um, I think I'm gonna do the pink in the middle because there's quite a bit of green standing out. I had a few different shades of pink, but I ultimately decided to go with this one because I don't, believe it or not, you guys, I don't have a very good bubblegum pink pink. I have like light pinks. I have peach pink. I have fuchsia. I have hot pink. I have all these different pinks, but I don't have like a true bubblegum pink, which is what I needed. But that will have to be an investment for another time. Maybe I'll find one when we go to Portsmouth. We're going to Portsmouth tomorrow. And one of my favorite stationery stores is actually up there. And they have a whole pen and marker bar. It's cool. It's really, really cool. So maybe I'll be able to find one there tomorrow. Okay. So next, I think I'm just going to highlight the days now and I am going with this like jungly green because a lot of the leaves in the spread are that color too okay those are highlighted I really like the colorway really cute really different all right I need to pull my sticky notes so I'm gonna speed you guys up really quick while I do that <laughs> Okay, pure chaos. <laughs> All right, I know I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I was going to do boxes. I think I've changed my mind, at least for a good chunk of these. Um, this is insane. I know you guys are probably like, holy crap, this girl is nuts. But <laughs> I talked about romancing this summer and this is me trying to romance this summer. Some of these things might not end up happening. Um, but I don't want to manifest that. I want to manifest that I'm going to get as much of these things done as I can. So that means writing them in and making it feel more permanent. This one's probably going to go. Yeah, we're probably going to get rid of that. I'm not sure about this and I'm not sure about this one. Some of these are appointments. So I am, I think my plan is to use the boxes for appointments and then for some maybe like a couple of the bigger activities we have going on and then for the rest of them I'll just do I'll just use these the first thing I always try to do with this stuff is to write down is to put down like my to do's for boxes I actually may be able to find some in here that go okay there's a few in here that I can actually use this is the mini one of that travel planner I'm going to take this one of her and I'm actually going to put it on this one. I am going to cut out a little notch for the date. Okay. So that is a, like a main thing, like a major thing we're definitely doing. So I wanted to get that box in. Now we need some smaller ones for the appointments. And I do have some in the back here. Okay, I'm gonna use, we're gonna go over to here. Actually, we'll do this one first. I'm gonna put, how do I wanna do this? All right, I think I'm gonna go with this bluish color. Hopefully I don't regret that option, but we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna put this one here. Okay, and that's going to be for these two appointments. So you guys kind of get it. Um, I am going to speed you guys up for this process just because it's going to take me a really long time to do this. 
um, there's a lot going on. So I'm going to finish up with the areas that I want to do the boxes and then the rest of the things I'm going to write in and highlight um, with markers. So let's get started. <laughs> guys we have sticky note chaos in the background but everything is down except for these two things I wanted to put put stickers on those boxes first before I did anything else and before I wrote in so we're finally gonna tap into this this sticker book here um, some of these stickers are a little big but for over here, I'm gonna do the little papaya. This is like super cute. Although, you know what, hold on, I'm gonna change my mind. I found like a little sunscreen because it's a beach day. That could be super cute. Oh yeah, really cute. And then over here, maybe we'll do the papaya over here. Okay, now I can go in and write those in. Okay, so now that we have all of that down and taken care of, the only thing we don't have is a box sticker for over here, but I think it might be okay because I've been doing quite a lot of just like stickers over here. So I think maybe we'll put a girl down on the bottom and then we'll do some of the fun bookish stickers. 
up top. All right, I'm gonna put her right on the bottom there. And then I would like to put her, oh no, it looks like I tried peeling her off at some point. Bummer, I'm not gonna be able to use her. I wonder if I have her in another book. Let's check. All right, all I have is this, so I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to incorporate this one. I might put her here. I think I'm gonna put her here and I'll just rewrite the eight. Okay, I think that looks cute. I need to get a clear girl in here. I'm thinking of putting her right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with her. I wasn't going to use her, but I don't know. I feel like she's my best option for this spread. I didn't really wanna bring black in, but she's just gonna have to do. And then I'm gonna bring another one up here, but she's gonna be paper. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this girl. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair it with a st another sticker. I'm gonna use this one. And then I'm gonna put her, like with her. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, cool. And then I wanna use, this is gonna bring gold in, but I'll figure it out. I really wanna use this sticker and put it like right across her so it covers up that black. I kind of love that. And then maybe we can bring a gold quote or something over there. All right, I have this like really simple gold quote here. All right, we're gonna go with this weird too next just because it matches the font on the other side. It's gold. And also, this month we are kind of a little all over the place. So, I don't know. It's kind of fitting. Like that. All right, we're all done with this little one. And I actually think we might be all done with this one as well. So, I'm going to set those aside. And now we're going to add some book stickers to this. I kind of love this one. I feel like this one could probably go like over here. So let's do that. I don't want to do too many clear stickers. So we're going to stay clear of those. How do you guys think? Too much? Should I go with a smaller one? There is a smaller one. At least I thought there was. Maybe there isn't. Oh yeah, there is. There's this one. Yeah, maybe we'll stick to that. Because I feel like that takes up a lot of room. It's kind of big. And I would like to incorporate some of the flowers. There we go. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to pull this up. Oh no, oh, does not like me. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. Oh, maybe we can salvage it, I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna put this like this. So cute. We'll probably have to add like a flower over here. I don't know, can I salvage this? I think we might have salvaged it, you guys. Cute. Okay, <clears throat> let's get another one of those flowers and put it over here. And then I think I'm gonna layer this with something else too. I wish I had one like with a leaf. I have this one, that could work. Let's try that. I'm just gonna stick it right there. Yeah, okay. All right, so far I think it's pretty cute. I do think we need another sticker over there. I might actually do this open book. Nope, that covers too much. We need something smaller. All right, I'm gonna put the ice cream cone there. And then I saw 
some like cute little shell stickers on there. And there's this one with like a little pearl. And maybe we'll do like this little line. That's kind of cute. And then I want to do that tie-dye sticker, the book sticker over here. Like that. Cute. And then we'll do another one over there. I kind of would like to use these. I just don't know if they'll fit. Okay, so I cut this part right here. I'm not like a huge fan of it, but it's done. It's not coming up. So I'm trying to use the rest of this sticker. I think I'm gonna try and see what it looks like on this edge right here. I don't know, we're gonna see. If I don't like it, I can take it off. All right, that's actually kind of cute. Like it peeks off the page a little bit. I kind of like that. I almost wanna add it in another spot. Okay, I added it over here and over here, and I'm kind of loving it, so that worked out. I really want to try and fit in that green book. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. It's up here, this one. It's not that bad. Okay, I'm putting a stack of books over here, and then I think I'm gonna put another fruit over here. It's pretty much done at this point. Um, this is the only thing about having like really busy months. It's just hard, it's harder to decorate them. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take a lemon because, did I put that lemon girl in? Oh, maybe I didn't. All right, well I want this little hot pink citrus. And I'm gonna put this over here like that. And then I think I might just take that other green one, I guess. I thought about doing the lemon, but it's a lot of yellow over here. Here. Like that. I don't know, maybe we should do the lemon. Maybe we can put it up here. And then we'll put another one on the other side. I know what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to put the ice cream in over here. And then I'll just... make a 23 there. Let's see if we can get that pink she fits it's also on the same spot as that and I'm not a fan of that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one The last two things I'm gonna do is just stick a couple more flowers in and I want to use those other two shells too and that's gonna be it Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm all finished. I think it came out really, really cute. So I totally got in the zone with this. I already love this so much more than my big. And the only thing I have to go back in and do is put in my bills, but I've been doing that off camera. I think it's just a little too tedious for you guys to sit and watch me and put all that in. Plus, it is a little personal, and I decided that I'm just going to 
do that after I'm done making these spreads when I do plan with me's like this with you guys. And that's it. I think the vibes came out perfect for this. It's very summery. It's August. It's all about just like taking in and soaking in the rest of the summer. And also I love the books that I incorporated. I think it's perfect for wanting to read a little bit more. And also the kids go back to school at the end of the month. So just worked out really, really well. I love the combination of the colors. I think the washi tape might have been slightly off. I think if I had used more of these darker greens, it probably would have looked a little bit better. But other than that, I think it's great. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time watching. And that bell notification too really helps you get notified when I post another video, whether it's planning, Disney, or lifestyle content. That is what this channel is about. So I hope you will join me, become a part of my planning fam. And until the next one, you guys, happy planning and stay magical.